Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you're just joining us, uh, we're asking, have you ever contacted the side piece? Now, where did, where's this coming from, Yee? Well, this comes from a story from Gossip of the City T where, allegedly, Faith Evans sent some DMs to what she says is Stevie J's side piece and says that she might pop up on them in Miami. All right, so we're asking 800-585-1051. Have you ever contacted the side piece? Hello, who's this? Keisha. Hey, Keisha. Now, have you ever Hi. have you ever contacted the side piece? I haven't, but I was married and the side piece contacted me. Ooh, and what happened? It made me feel like I was the side piece. Like, the way she was talking to me it was like... Gracious. Well, thank you. All right. Hello, who's this? Yo, this True Star from Lexington, Kentucky. What's up, man? A, 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 a side piece contacted you, bro? Man, no, I called, I called the side piece. Uh-oh. Oh, you called a dude. It was a dude you called. Man, I called him, dog. I called him, man. What happened? Man, look, so she went to work. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. Look, she, she, uh... He was talking to him for a little minute because we had broke up. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, you know, I called, I, you know, I mean, they stopped talking, you know, whatever. He's living in a whole other city. So, you know, I'm like, so I, so I get to call him while he's at work, you know, while she at work, you know. He was like, who this? I'm like, this is Anton, who this? He like, he like, who this? So it's a whole bunch of who this. And then, you know, <laughs> they say, you know, I'm like, who I'm this? like, no, who I'm this? like man, you know, where you where your baby mama at? And he was like, who it is? So I'm like, you know, because I ain't gonna lie, I'm still kind of frustrated. Like, you won't holler at my soon to be fiance. You feel me? Trying to mess up a happy home, whatever you try and do. You know, it ain't even going. I mean, long, you know, whatever. At the end, you know, basically, you know, we still together, whatever. But, I'm, you know, so I'm, you know, I'm telling him whatever. I'm like, you know, where your baby mama at? I'm trying, you know, talk to her, see what's going on. You know, he was, I don't, you don't know what my baby I'm like, all right, whatever, basically. She, uh, she, she mentioned it to me. She, she uh, one day she was like, so did you, uh, she said, I wonder if you call uh, such and such from this number. He said a number called him was asking whatever, whatever. I'm like, no, that wasn't me. But I'm confused. If y'all had broke, y'all had broke up while she was dating him? But they were back together and, and she was still contacting him. Yeah. We were still, we were still living together. So what happened if he comes and beat your ass? That's, that's a that's a Fendi fan. You can't even fuck up. <laughs> I can't even talk crazy. You carry on the radio, man. <laughs> so I wait. Him, like, I, I got his number from the Alexa. You know, I didn't even get the number from her. I got it from the Alexa. Oh my gosh, I didn't know guys. Did. So let me ask you: Do you still think about that to this day? Has it affected your relationship? Nah, I mean, kind of, sort of, but, you know, the past one past depends on how grown you are, man, at the end of the day. What you going, what, you, what y'all going to do? Y'all going, y'all going to be together, y'all going to go apart. So, if, and we, uh, we kind of like, you know, just taking, taking things slow, you feel me, decent. I got you. So, it is, but, hey, yeah, I told him, I told him before he even talked, I said, all right, cool, say less. You want to be with him? That's what's up, but I'm telling you right now, he ain't going to compare to me, so. Okay. Hello, who's this? <laughs> He sounds hey, hurt. it's Mira. Hey, Mira, good morning. Have you ever contacted the side piece? So I actually was the side piece. Um, I was dating this guy for like a couple months, and I didn't know he was with someone, and I was on his Facebook. I'm like, why does he keep talking to this girl? So I looked her up on Instagram, and I actually found, I guess I found um, a few pictures of them, and I DM'd her because she seemed pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, we just found out that he had been playing us both and he was like putting two or two together with the date. He had went to like Canada um, on a trip with her, but he had like two different Snapchats. He mm-hmm. was posting her on one and then posting his own pictures on Oh, that is bold. But we're right. actually really good friends now. Like, he's really cool. She's in a, a great relationship now and everything. Wow. That's interesting. You know how often women will befriend 
the side piece. Like, they, you know, they will be like, oh, well, we should get together. They want to sit down, meet you in person, talk to you, hang out, you know? Mm. Secretly don't like you still. Hello, who's this? Hey, good morning. This is Callie. Hey, Carrie. Now, ha- have you ever contacted the side piece? I'm actually the one with the side, well, the main girl contacted as a side piece, which is funny. Okay, so you were you were the side piece realize. that got contacted. Exactly, but I wasn't the side piece. That's the whole thing. I'm confused. So you thought you were the main, but you were really the side. I was really the main, and apparently this is like a woman who claims she's always the main. So basically, we were in a full relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Pictures posted, all of that. And the girl, like, she's like, hey, so are you effing my end or are you effing my end? And I'm like, what? So, I, you know, I spoke to him about it. And I'm like, hey, you know, like, is this your girl? He's like, nah, nah, nah. So listen, take care of that. And let me know what's going on with that before you even proceed any further. So sometimes, you know, it's the woman not knowing what's going on because of the man. Okay. So what ended up happening? He basically left her. We were in a relationship and it got real, real nasty and messy. And I had to walk away from it. But, you know, that's just what it is. Okay. Thank but you, Karen. I know she was grateful to find out. I'm sure. Yeah. Hello, who's this? Uh, this is Sierra. That sounds like a fake name, but we're going to let you rock. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, what, hap- what happened, Cece? Um, what happened was with my ex-husband, because obviously we're no longer together. We were heading up. Well, me and my one-year-old at the time and my dog um, decided to leave for Irma because it was supposed to be really bad. And um, my husband at the time um, decided to stay back behind because he might have to work. Mm-mm-mm. So wait a minute, wait a minute. So, Let me get this so he, you leave for Hurricane Irma and he stays. So he leaves the hurricane. They evacuate the city. Y'all, you and the dog leave, and your husband's like, "Nah, I'm gonna ride this baby. out." But go ahead, go. And the baby, and the baby, and the baby. So go. And the baby. So um, I'm driving up. It was a very long drive because I left at 10 o'clock at night, and about one o'clock in the morning when I ended up. Somewhere lost in Georgia from with a tent from some people I didn't even know and everything else. I end up getting there and try to set up and everything. And 1 o'clock in the morning, I'm hearing ding, 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 ding. And I'm like, why is the tablet going off? And then I look at it because he forgot it was connected to um, his iCloud. He was hitting up a prostitute. <gasps> he stayed behind in a hurricane without his family. Not his one-year-old, not his dog, not his wife, to hit up a prostitute. His prostitute, yes. And so I was like, oh, my God. Now, mind you, I went days already without sleeping because that was a long drive from 10 o'clock at night to being setting up at 1 o'clock, the next, not the next day, but the day after in the morning, right? I still hadn't slept yet. I was so livid. I ended up calling up the girl, and she answered. Wow. Well, yeah, she don't want to miss this. like... I was like, so my husband hit you up. And she was like, uh, who's your husband? And I gave her the phone number. And she's like, yes, he did. Well, she was honest. And she was <laughs> like, you were so nice. And I'm like, well, it's not my fault that you're doing whatever you want to do that he wants to go and hit you up. So I need to know if anything happened or what happened or whatnot. Apparently, she says nothing really happened because she's on her monthly but she still does stuff on her monthly with people. Oh my God! She uses her mouth. This wow. This is disgusting. Well, how much did he? How much did he? How or much she did she charge? Anal. I don't even know. I don't even know because I mean I try not to get too much detail because I was already on the verge of vomiting. I so, but you were happy did, you found did, out. It, 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 huh? You were happy you found out. I was, but it, it, unfortunately it wasn't the first time. So I mean not with prostitutes, but except for when I caught him in the Asian massage place. God. Goodness gracious. This guy. So you walked in yeah. on him at the Asian massage place? Yeah, I had a location. He tried saying he was at the Eyeglass World on Del Prado. No, he was not. He was at the Asian massage place. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Well, I drove get... over there real fast. I did like 70 down Del Prado. Was he getting a happy ending? I, 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 yeah, he did. Oh, wow. I busted open that door. Are, are you still with right him? after she finished. No, she said yeah, that's her ex. That's why he's, he's my ex-husband, yeah. And I'm glad you left, though, by the way. Sometimes Jeez. people will stay despite all that behavior. It takes a lot of strength to be able to be like, all right, I'm over it. All right, well, we got rumors on the way? Yes, let's talk about Jay-Z and Damon Dash. They have settled their reasonable doubt NFT lawsuit. All right, we'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 